Hello, Cibolo. Welcome to Cibolo uh, Bites. My name is Mark Allen, the mayor of Cibolo. Today is Tuesday, October 24th, 2023. Tonight at the city council meeting, we were able to recognize a Cibolo citizen tonight, and she was in the Miss Teen Latina contest representing Cibolo, Texas. Her name is Amaya Brasino. And so her and her family were able to come up tonight and she received recognition from the uh, city council. And so we're very proud of her for representing Cibolo in the Miss Teen Latina pageant. Also, we did a proclamation tonight for Municipal Court Week where we were able to provide um, proclamation for Miss Avila and Miss Shimota. And so we were very excited about uh, doing the proclamation for a municipal court week for uh, this, this week in October. Also, we had a public hearing for to waive the right-of-way dedication requirement for a property at 304 South Main Street. And uh, this public hearing is actually for a property that they're going to be using for an animal hospital. And so it'll be nice to, to be able to have that uh, piece of property here in Cibolo, located on the south side of Main Street, south of 78, on the other side of uh, Main Street from City Hall. Also, we did receive some information during our Citizens to be Heard about a few ribbon cutting ceremonies that will be occurring in the city of Cibolo. There will be one on the 30th of uh, November at 9 a.m. for Chick-fil-A in Cibolo. Also on the 7th of November at 4 p.m. there'll be a ribbon cutting for Axe Shack and that is a new location in Cibolo where people can come to do some axe tossing. Also we have another ribbon cutting tomorrow morning on the 25th of October at Buffalo Wild Wings in Cibolo. So that'll be our brand new Buffalo Wild Wings to go location located over there near the Cibolo Walmart in the straight, same strip center as the uh, new urgent care clinic. Um, in addition to that, we had an update from our new police chief about the break-ins uh, that have been occurring within the uh, city of Cibolo. And so our new police chief has uh, taken this up as, uh, as a primary initiative to work together with the HOAs to start neighborhood watch groups and also to encourage folks to lock their car doors in the evening. So there's a new um, initiative that the Civil Police Department is helping remind people to do the, the 9 a.m. routine, which involves locking your car doors and making sure you don't leave any valuables in your car at, at 9 p.m. every night. So there's normally these, well, what we've seen in the data is that a lot of these car break-ins are occurring after 9 p.m. and especially on the weekend nights. And so, you know, please make sure to lock your car doors. Also, we did get an update from our new police chief about the animal department. We're pleased to announce that we won the Best Friends Animal Society Award and we were recognized as a no-kill shelter. So I'm not necessarily saying we won an award, but we won for recognition, let's put it that way, as a no-kill shelter, no -kill shelter for the Cibolo Animal Shelter. So we're really proud of that uh, recognition. Um, in addition to that, I wanted to make a quick announcement that the city of Cibolo was actually recognized as one of the top workplaces. And that recognition was put into the San Antonio Express newspaper that went out yesterday on Monday. And so we're very proud to be included as one of the best places in the San Antonio metropolitan area to work. And so I think that's reflective of great leadership and uh, great organizational culture that we have here in Cibolo. So everybody that um, participated in that survey uh, did indicate that um, they are happy working for the city of Cibolo. So we're happy to have that uh, recognition. Also, we were able to make a few appointments to some of our boards and commissions tonight. Um, notably, Stosh Boyle, the ex-mayor of Cibolo, was appointed to EDC to represent District 2. So we're happy to welcome Stosh um, back to city government. Um, so I think that's about it that we have tonight. Um, stay tuned for the next update 
um, after our next council meeting. We're only gonna have one council meeting in the month of November and then one meeting in the month of December. So uh, stay tuned for an update after the November council meeting. Thank you, have a good night.